Welcome to uh, a very different day than we planned. But who could argue with this, right? Who could argue with this? What a beautiful, beautiful gift from God. The Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I wonder if that's not a, a great verse for today. This is the day. It's really sad that so many of our family and friends can't be with us, but it's great to have those of us who are here, small in number, but really important to celebrate with Sarah and with Callum, and such a special day for them, but also for, for us as family and for friends. Callum, I can say this to you, for Anita as well as myself, we're delighted to welcome you into our family, and we are excited about that, but we're also happy to, by extension, join your family as well. Now, to Sarah. Good things come in small packages. <laughs> and from the very beginning, Sarah was quite petite. When she was two years old, I was strumming away badly, singing the Christian song, My Jesus, My Savior. And Sarah was singing every word perfectly, by memory. Except some words she forgot, so she just made them up. <laughs> And when it got to a wee bit that I thought I would give her a little bit of help and began to sing, Sarah looked at me in the eye, said, Dad, I can do this myself. <laughs> Nothing has changed in the other 20 years that have passed. For a long time we've been saying one day, one day we'll be married, one day we'll be living together. Yeah, and that one day is finally here, and I'm so, so thankful. You know, the Bible puts it right when it says marriage is a mystery. I'm sure you all agree that when you saw me standing next to Sarah <laughs> earlier today, we all saw how much of a mystery marriage really is. Yeah, never has it been more stark. Sarah, you are stunningly beautiful, and today especially. This is big because this is where Callum and Sarah are gonna make a, a lifelong covenant. The whole point of this is for two people to determine before God that they're gonna share the rest of their lives giving of themselves for the other's good, enjoying each other's companionship, bearing each other's burdens, forgiving each other's sins, providing for each other's needs, celebrating each other's successes, sharing each other's pain, stimulating each other's faith, and delighting together as heirs of the grace of life. I remember before I met Sarah, being asked, what are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for? What kind of person is it? What kind of character is it that you're looking for? The answer was always, I don't actually know. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I always thought in my mind I would know when I, when I, when I met her. I would, I would know when, when the person came along. And then Sarah walked into my life and all these questions were answered. A woman of faith, wisdom, <laughs> intelligence, strength, laughter, joy. Sarah, you have an amazing care and love for those around you both your family and your friends, this is an outstanding quality that captures who you are. The time you spend with others, uh, the conversations you have with them, your desire and longing for the best for those around you. Uh, it speaks of you as a person who puts others before herself, and I, I love that about you. Sarah, you're the one I want to see in every circumstance and every emotion. When I'm broken, when I'm exhausted, when I'm gutted, when I'm crying, it's you I want to see and speak to. When I'm laughing at something, you're the one I want to go to and, and share the funny story with. You're the closest person to me, you are my person in this world. We have finally made it to that one day that we've spoken about for so long. Callum, Sarah, thank you for letting me lead you through this part of your service and being the one who unites you in marriage. I, Sarah Tong Kirkland. I, Sarah Tong Kirkland. Take you, Callum White. Take you, Callum White. To be my wedded husband. 
to be my wedded husband. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And before our families and friends. And before our families and friends. I promise and covenant. I promise and covenant. To be a loving. To be a loving. Faithful. Faithful. And loyal wife to you. And loyal wife to you. And vow to serve God alongside you. And vow to serve God alongside you. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Callum. You holding on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, Callum White. I, Callum White. Take you, Sarah Tong Kirkland. Take you, Sarah Tong Kirkland. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And before our families and friends. And before our families and friends. I promise and covenant. I promise and covenant. To be a loving. To be a loving. Faithful and loyal husband to you. Faithful and loyal husband to you. And vow to serve God alongside you. And vow to serve God alongside you. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. You've taken each other to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. You'll love each other, you'll cherish one another until separated by death. Callum and Sarah, these rings are not just ornamental jewellery. They are visible reminders that from this day forward, you do belong to one another and wonderfully so. On the basis of the vows that you've taken, in the exchanging of these rings as symbols of the covenant that you've entered into, I now pronounce you Callum and Sarah to be husband and wife in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and those whom God has joined together, may no one ever try to separate. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, you may kiss your husband. <laughs>